Hello everyone. Today I gonna tell you a story Tobalik. It's a story from a uh, Sumatra North. Once upon time there was a young man named Toba. He lived alone and had no wife. He decided being single and he didn't get married. Although he his age was mature and now to a family. He had a narrow farm and small hut farm from a lake. Uh, if the day was getting the dark, he could do activity until night has come. One day, after work on his small farm, he decided to go fishing. He wanted to look for some a long time, but his hook didn't cap any fish. Suddenly, his fish bite made some movement. He was sure he would get a fish for his dinner. And that was true pretty and big fish stuck on his bite. He took the fish and then put it on a fish basket. So happy to get a fish for a dinner because a fish pretty and big. Arriving at home, he put his fish beside the fireplace, but he realized that he forgot to look for some woods for his fireplace. Without, without, without the woods, of course, he could not cook the fish for his dinner. He went out to look for some woods. He left the fish in the kitchen. Uh, after getting some woods, he went back home. And but he was too surprised. The the fish was empty. The fish was gone. He left and he left found some skulls which in the form of gold pieces. Toba was confused. He confined himself that the gold pieces he held was the scalp of the fish he caught the afternoon. He was stepped to his room, but again he he saw he he saw a beautiful girl with long hair long hair in his room. The girl sat in the Toba's bed. Toba didn't make any movement. Hi Toba, it was getting dark. Could you turn on the lamp? Uh, alright, I will turn on the lamp. Don't be afraid Toba, I will not hurt you. But who are you? Are you king of Jenny or something? I am the incarnation of the fish you caught afternoon good that's true yes but you don't have to be afraid i will help you to do some household activity i will cook for you and prepare your daily meal toba was accompanied by the girl toba was happy for that until on day toba asked the girl to get married but the girl gave requirement to be your wife but don't ever tell me my secret my condition that I was fish said the girl. Toba agreed the girl's requirement and then they got married years gone by Toba wife was pregnant and not so long was gave birth the baby was a boy named Samasi. They took care. They only child. They showered the boy with love. It seemed that they were happy family. The mother spoiled the boy too much. He didn't want to help his father to walk 
on his small farm. He only stayed at home doing nothing. He was a lazy boy. One day, the mother asked Samosir to bring lunch for his father, who worked in his farm. But Samosir refused. And, and then the mother was angry. She was so upset and threatened Samosir if he didn't do what she asked. She, she would not give for lunch. But he grumbled continuously as he wanted to play with his friends. On the way to his father's farm, on the way to the father's farm, he felt hungry too. Because of this, they're just, li they're just a little by little left. Meanwhile, the day was getting hot. Decide Toba, Toba to rest under the tree. He felt thirsty and hungry. He asked himself why his wife didn't lunch for this. Arriving at home, he put his fist. He put his. Fist. Arriving at home, he put his fist beside the fireplace, and then he realized that. But he realized forgot. But he realized that he forgot to look for some woods for his fireplace. Without, without, without the woods, of course, he could not cook the fish for his dinner. Toba took the lunch quickly. He could not bear his hunger anymore, but when he saw the lunch box, he was surprised. The lunch was empty. Where is the lunch? Why this box is empty? And and Samosi answered, "I'm sorry, father. I'm sorry, father. On the way here, I ate your lunch because I hungry." It is because your mother spoiled you. You are so naughty. Well, it is because your mother eats a fish. Toba didn't realize that what he said was rude. And he also said the the mother is a fish. Samosiro was so sad to hear this. He heard. He cried continuously, and and his mother asked, "Why you cried?" And Samosir said that his father was angry to him. It's because he ate his father's lunch. Samosir also told what his father had said to him. Father said, "I, I." Father said that I was a little animal because I didn't obey his advice and he also said that mother's a fish. But how excessive he is was not supposed to tell that you. I will tell him. And the beautiful girl really said he thought that Toba didn't love her anymore. Toba was changed. He broke his promise to her. So the girl thought there was no use she lived. She decided to do sukit by jumping to a lake. Suddenly, it was a huge rain. The thunder and the lightning were, were scary. Were so scary. The rain was so heavy, heavy and made huge, huge flood. The valley was a lake, a sea, just a girl's sight. There was a great disaster in the village. And the village was seen and become a hip lake. This lake was named as Tobas. That is Lake Toba. The end story and that the end story Toba Lake. Thank you for watching. Bye.